Uh, so, I'm Mandy, and uh, this is me. Um, finally, I'm really looking forward to actually writing my OpenPad um, uh, application in the summer. I've put it off twice now, so I, um, I'm really looking forward to being able to stop talking about all of this, I have to say, um, because I think I'm beginning to bore some of my colleagues. But, you know, I'm trying to make, them, I'm trying to make each of these speeches a little bit better. So, first of all, just to define what I mean by OU Live and being synchronous, this definition explicitly differentiates from an online lecture. After all, if we're only going to lecture, we might as well produce a YouTube video and send top students off to watch that. It's tempting to fill the audio space with the sound of one's own voice. But if we plan our sessions to ensure that they include time when we tutors don't speak, the students have to fill the void themselves. It's so much more engaging when the students talk, and that also stops us from talking all the time, especially me. Um, of course, some students won't want to, and that shouldn't be punished. But nevertheless, encourage those who don't mind. And uh, these, those, microphone, those headsets are really great. So... The, fair, the things that I'm going to be discussing are um, things that explicitly encourage interactivity, and I found them by trawling around on material, um, but I suggest if you do find something you like yourselves, then share it on the OU Live wiki. So here's one which is telling us about a really good assessment task, for example, a TMA question from a module which a student knows. So this is to get them ch talking and to get them engaging and discussing things with each other. Um, nice to get them just to do something short and simple and sweet. This is from English. Creative, this was the subject. It was discussing using examples of text that might not be traditionally be considered creative, and they had to illustrate their explanation. So there they probably would have needed to pre-prepare beforehand. So that's an op op the option that you can have, is to say, okay, this is what we're going to do, Come and do it. Now, how do you reward that? Well, that's a different thing. His languages are absolutely amazing at using OU Live. Really, probably better than the majority of us. Um, and but here, they have a speaking EMA that they do in OU Live. Of course, this is all pre-planned, pre-prepared, um, etc. Pair discussion. This is lovely. You send them off to um, breakout rooms. Um, and then you ask them to come back. This discussion was about a TV program which used hidden cameras. Collaborative quiz answers. You don't have to spend hours doing your own quizzes. You know, you live. Really clunky interface. You can send them off. Again, in breakout rooms, a little, uh, introduce a little bit of a competitive element, and then let them come back and share their results in the plenary. So there they're going to be learning, and they're going to be discussing things as well. Again, here's another preset option for a preset discussion topic. Um, this is what they're going to they're going to discuss um, about whether or not um, children's books are intended to entertain or to inform um, Alice in Wonderland. What does that do? Does it? We probably all have a thought about that. Um, I'm sure you use this because it's almost impossible not to. But get them to co co write. So they will be adding little boxes onto the, onto the screen. Horrible, those boxes, aren't they? Yeah. But nevertheless, possible. And here's one that we all recognise. Oh, yes, it's Ned. Notice that mine's brown. Yeah, that helps, because um, you can click in the middle of it and it actually jumps. I was going to put a little video in, but of course, with timing issues, I didn't. So there you go. <laughs> but anyway, this one... Uh, nays is it going, going around in there. We've talked about that um, splitting them up again into little rooms and having them to come back. Um, referencing, this would be something that we all do so there's, there's something that somebody did. I think this is health and social care. They thought that their students were particularly bad at it. Well they haven't met ours is all I can say. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Evaluating theories, this was science uh, social, social science sorry. Um, and here, this is the opportunity to use highlighters, underlining, takes of quite a bit of preparation. So sometimes, yes, we do really need to set up these events. 
This was nice. This is coming back onto one of my favourites, which is application sharing. I think application sharing is one of the strongest things that we can use OU Live for. Um, and here in science, they'll use a digital microscope, um, go off again, use a digital microscope, come back and discuss. And so here, ha, um, other ideas. Join up with other tutors. Force your modules to let you join up with other tutors. There's absolutely no reason why it can't happen. Um, think about module-wide tutorials because, again, critical mass makes it more exciting. So the more people that are in the room, the more engaging it is. The, more e the easier it is to send all of these, uh, use all these breakout rooms. Um, all students can't be in a room, at, can't all be there at the same time. So please... I think recording is fantastically powerful. And some people say, don't record. I, I totally disagree. Um, that slide passed. I'll come back to it at the end. Um, with mobile apps, we have to consider that more and more students might start to use the mo mobile application, and we need to think about what they don't have access to, um, but the great thing is that they've got no excuse not to use the microphone. Because it's our phone. So there you go. We've got them at last. Um, and that's, that's that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs>